Jesus, as it becomes clear from this story, is very willing to go out of his way to find people who are willing to place great faith in him, even if that is to the shame of his own people. So this is a, 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 a great lesson for our days. Jesus, through all the centuries, he would say this himself before he entered Jerusalem for the last time before his death. He would say, the Son of Man, how he searches for faith, but when he comes, will he find it? Will he find faith? Jesus, who continues to search us out, every human soul in the world is begging so many people for their faith. And does he find it in our world? Does he find our world a world full of faith in him? Well, we know that answer is quite obvious. But he does go to those who are willing to find him, and he searches them out. And when he searches out a soul that exhibits true faith, he tests that faith. He doesn't promise that faith makes uh, his grace easy. He's going to say to us, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you really sure? Are you ready to give up all other things? Am I enough? And if he finds faith that is persevering, see what that faith produces, but miracles, but blessing, divine blessing but provision that can only come from the divine hand. And what it does for me is it reminds me of uh, uh, a short but very memorable poem written by St. Teresa of Avila. She was this great 16th century Carmelite nun. She was a mystic. She had great revelations of uh, the person of Jesus. And after she died, uh, her uh, religious confreres collected the very small number of her belongings, and they, and they took her prayer book, it's called the Breviary, and they opened her Breviary, and they found this poem that she had written. And it's one of the most well-known writings that we have of St. Teresa. And it's just a, a sort of an eight-line poem called St. Teresa's Bookmark. And what it... Uh, what it describes in these sort of artistic words, these beautiful words, is the very truth that Jesus reveals about faith and about coming under his lordship and about his desire, his heart which begs faith from you and from me. She says this, let nothing disturb you, let nothing frighten you, everything passes. God never changes. Patience obtains all things. Whoever has God wants for nothing. God alone is enough. <laughs>